Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Oreo truffle balls. Now before we get into the video, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, okay? I'm just going to wait here until you hit it. You must be subscribed if you're still watching, okay. Alright, that means that we can move on. Um, anyways, let's just get into the video. So, I am going to make Oreo truffle balls. And the ingredients that you're gonna need are, first of all, Oreos. Second of all, cream cheese. I also have a cream cheese alternative in case you are dairy or lactose intolerant. And you will also need chocolate of your choosing. And I chose dark chocolate and white chocolate. So this is kind of like a no-bake um, recipe. All you're gonna need to do is use the microwave for maybe like a minute um, to melt your chocolate and that's pretty much it. You're gonna be utilizing that freezer, girl. You're gonna be utilizing that freezer. So first things first, you're gonna want to empty out all of your Oreos and put them into your gallon bag and then you're gonna want to put that bag that you have into another gallon bag and then you're going to smash the Oreos in your gallon Ziploc bag um, with your hands. You can do a, you know, mallet, a kitchen mallet if you need to, um, but you just wanna get them very, very crumbly. And so that's what we're gonna do. You kinda wanna get them looking like this. So if you have like some chunks like that big, that's totally fine, or even that big, it's not really concentrating, but uh, not really focusing, but if you have them like slightly big, that's totally fine. But the finer that you can get them, the better. Um, we're just gonna mix it with the cream cheese um, so it can hold. But I mean, these chunks are... I will say, however, if you do have a food processor, this would this step would go a lot faster for you, but uh, your girl don't have a food processor, so... She crushing them with her hands. Old school, real old school. So to get into like the serving amount, you technically only really need one bag of Oreos and one thing of cream cheese and one thing of, um, well, two things of chocolate. But I'm doubling this recipe. Um, honestly, it kind of depends on how big you, it depends on how big you roll your Oreo balls. And so it, you could get a lot more, you could get a lot less. It just depends on the size. I'm trying to go for like a medium size. So like bigger than a quarter, slightly bigger than a quarter. Um, but yeah, this is where you're gonna want the clean hands like for real because you're, gonna want your cream cheese to be at like room temperature so not frozen and not super solid but soft enough so that you can mush the cream cheese with the Oreos together. I just added in the second cream cheese. Also washed my hands because it was getting too messy and you gotta roll up your sleeves. Um, and I'm just gonna mush the rest and you will do the same thing um, but with dairy-free or vegan cream, che cream cheese, if you have a lactose sensitivity like I do. But I'm just starting with the regular one and making it all. So you want to mush the cream cheese and Oreo crumbles together to like become semi-solid like this. And then you put them into balls and yeah, you can do whatever size you want. If you want them to be really big or really small, it's really up to you. I'm gonna leave them in here for about 15 to 20 minutes so that they can solidify. And then afterwards, we will melt the chocolate, dip them in, and then put them back into the freezer. So the next step, after you melt the chocolate, and I lied, you don't wanna put it in for a minute, you wanna put it in for like three to four minutes and stir every 30 seconds, um, cause it takes a long time to melt. And I didn't realize that. Anyways, we're just gonna drop a little ball in there. And you're gonna wanna use a fork, 
because you want to be able to get that extra chocolate off <laughs> and just kind of turn it over and then you just pick it up and it's perfect and then you just put it back on the parchment paper and then you just continue with all until all of these are covered and then we'll put them back into the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you can place them in bags and then after your ball, oreo balls are in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes they should look something like this you could always drizzle chocolate on top of it um, for a cool little feature or before they um, solidify but before you put them in the freezer you could always put like um, oreo crumbles on top so it has a little bit more texture but this is essentially what they look like they're really easy to make and very quick afterwards you will place everything into a bag so i placed three dark chocolate and three white chocolate and i got all these bags at the dollar store and it came with wrapping and I'm just gonna give them as party favors. And that's it, and that is how you make Oreo truffle balls. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below if you have made this recipe and it was super easy for you. I would love to hear your feedback, um, and as well, share this video. That would help me out a lot. Um, and yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, guys. Bye. I can never eat my popcorn like a lady. Like a lady. There is no way to eat a like a lady unless you eat one piece at a time. And I mean, that's just a waste of time. I don't have that self-control. That's self-control, that's a lot of patience. It's beyond me. Honestly, you don't even get the full flavor. You just have a tiny little piece. It's just ridiculous. That's sad. <laughs> that's a sad way of <laughs> What were you telling me? Do not show my face. I'm showing my face. Obviously, Telling can you, you see your just face? Showed my face. Can you can you see your face? Before. Look. Which How way is the I lens? Possibly. What, which way is the lens going, girl? I'm saying before. Logically. Before. I'm not gonna show your face. Can do an argument about. Washed that. balls never freeze. Washed or washed. Watched with your Watch. eyes. I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. There's no LOLs at the end of that statement. It's 2018. I say what I mean.